and welcome to Healthy People TV. I'm Wesley, your host, and today we are going to look at anabolic steroids. Well, we're not actually going to be looking at anabolic steroids, but we will be talking about how steroids can negatively affect your life. And if you haven't been particularly outstanding before, it may be discouraging to find out how many more there are ahead of you now than there used to be. But remember, you are still you with the same abilities you had before. Steroids are chemicals that mimic the natural hormone testosterone. Testosterone, in case you slept through biology, is the chemical that helps turn a boy into a man. It is also responsible for giving the male something called aggression. Okay, you maggots, I want to see you do 642 jumping jacks. Go! Okay, now, drop down. Give me 250 push-ups. Go! Now, get up. Give me 378 laps. Move it. Go, go, go! Before you do that, I need you to do 200 sit-ups. Go! Coach, you're crazy. Crazy? Crazy? Coach, you're going to give yourself a heart attack. You're wired. Don't be ridiculous. I'm perfect, perfectly. Heart attack, Coach? No, I think it's the rigatoni I had for lunch. There it goes. Come on, let's get out of here. Guys, where are you going? We still got 500 chin-ups to do, and you got to climb this roof! Guys! Guys! If your friend told you he was planning on taking steroids so he could get a better chance at getting an athletic scholarship to go to college, what would you do? This is exactly what happens to David. His best friend just told him he's going to begin taking steroids. Let's see what David has to say about this news. Man, you just don't understand, man. My dad expects me to be a star athlete. You know something? He's relentless. He's on my case all the time. I've been around your dad when he's giving you his pep talk. I know what he's like. But taking roids? Dude, that's just dangerous. I know. I know. I'll be careful. I promise. I'm not stupid. That's debatable. Man, nobody's pressuring you. Your dad could care less even if you played football. That's probably why you're so good, because you just don't care. I care. I want to make touchdowns and get cheered just as much as you do. It's just that I have priorities. I made my mind up a long time ago. I wasn't going to end up selling used cars like my brother. He never cared about anything but football. That's why I just barely graduated high school. Look, I know. You've told me all about your brother before, but it's still different. Your dad could care less, and your brother could care less. My dad chewed me up one side and down the other last night because I'm not gaining muscle mass like he thinks I should. You see, he's got this chart, and if I don't match up to it, he thinks I'm not working hard enough. Yeah, but I doubt even your dad will want you taking steroids, though. Well, apparently you don't know my dad. See, my dad generally, he gets what he wants. He wants me to get bigger than what he was. He wants me to go all American just like he did. Yeah, and that's why he blew out his knee, because he pushed himself too hard. Is that what you want? That's why he wants me to gain muscle mass, so I won't blow out my knee. So you got good knees. What does that matter if you die from a heart attack? It happens, you know? I know, but I've got to do this. You've seen all the films, Justin. That stuff is bad news. It can mess you up forever. Look, I limit what I take and only take enough to catch me up to all these charts that Dad's using. So, you take a little bit of poison instead of a lot of poison? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, I'll do what I have to do. You don't have to do it. Just eat better. Man, I've done all that. You think I just woke up this morning and said, gee, I think I'm going to take steroids today. Man, I've got this thought through. 
to get my old man off my back and then give me that extra strength I need just to make it up over the top. It's cheating. So, that mean you gonna turn me in now? No. You know I'm not gonna do that. You're my best friend. For real, man. That's why I think you're messing up. Look, I don't need another dad. One's enough. Man, this fight. Why'd you even tell me? So if I say anything, I lose my best friend. But if I don't say anything, and something happens, it's my fault. You're a- One in 33 12th graders try steroids at least once. In 1999, teen use of steroids spiked, particularly among males. The teen who uses steroids can expect many side effects, including shrinking of testicles, reduced sperm count, infertility, depression, irreversible breast enlargement, and increased risk of prostate cancer. Girls can expect a growth of facial hair, male pattern baldness, breast reduction, deepened voice. Both sexes can expect acne, stunted growth, mood swings, feelings of hostility and aggressive behavior. You can find numerous sites dealing with steroid abuse and prevention. You can find effects and warning signs at teen drug abuse. There are also great helplines you can contact to speak with someone about steroid abuse. You can also go to the Healthy People Now website to get the links to these websites or get the phone numbers again. You can also watch this program again. Just go to www.hpn.prcc.edu. That's all we've got time for today. I hope we've been able to answer some of your questions for you. Maybe we've been able to point you in a new direction or possibly help you change your thinking in a positive way. If you have any questions or comments, you can email us at hpn at prcc.edu. Until next time, I'm Wesley, your host for the Healthy People Now Network.